already. It's hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, we would like to inform you guys that um, for in Carlos's and a protagonist's case, um, there are some things that they they bought but can't show because obviously it's not going to be YouTube appropriate. So just just bear that in mind that this is not everything, but this is almost everything that they have. That's we'll obviously some inappropriate stories later, but uh, yeah, that's all fun and games later. Anyways, to start off with, why don't we start off here? Um, that calendar JCT. isn't here, by the way. Uh, this calendar is not mine. This is Carlos's. JCT, they finally sold me one of these after I've asked about it for about two years. Uh, Demon Bane, or Deus Machina Demon Bane. Um, pretty awesome. Always want to have it out on, like, my club Like a stand and thing. And just use that. Anywho, did not get it until this year. Would not be lending it to Alex, my successor in the PvPHS anime club. Um, next thing, I also got the same thing Carlos got. Funnily enough, I tried the drawing four times. Three of the times I actually just got autographed copies, and um, one time I got this, even though I did want something different. F is being released later this year, I think. Yes, F is being released later this year. I'll explain the visual novel news I got later. Um, okay, my biggest surprise though was we, when we were there, they had the premiere of Love Love Alternative Total Eclipse. Not only that, but they also brought in the illustrator and um, story writer for um, Eclipse and illustrator for, actually, yeah, illustrator for the game, writer of, of the story for Eclipse. Um, I'll sh get into those as I explain, but um, otherwise I got a self pair of Sei from Koi no Muso, from Manga Gamer. Um, I wanted Soul Soul, but she was not there when I went back to negotiate for something which came very handy. Anyways, um, this is a um, Tumblr. Don't sign. think we can show. Don't think we can show this. Oh, th not that one. Okay, Tumblr of the one of the import Bureau Royal Guard TSS signed by um, the illustrator. Uh, some Tumblr skins we can't show you, but um, of Total Eclipse or Day After. Yeah, stop it. And then stop there. Um, art book, small art book of Total Eclipse. They actually gave me a deal because I told them when I got there, I want one of everything. Um, I'll flip through it later if we want to. Anyways, these are my... Before I go on... Ah, oh, finger. It's fine. It's a Sharpie. For reasons. Anyways, Fate... I got... Fate, or three people put sign for Fate. Um, director of UFO Table? Or... I can't ever say it right. Whoever that was. Um, um, the... Someone from Aniplex. I'm really bad with names. I'm trying to remember. And I'm still recovering as well. I had a pretty bad time. And the voice actor for Emiya Kiyosugi. Also happens with um, Volume 2. I had um, I think Ryan do it for me. He recruited people Ryan, through extortionism yeah. and persuasion. Yes, I have, very good I have a very good persuasion skill. Through extortion. Anyways, um, this was actually... Um, as soon as I learned that these guys were there, rushed, bought three cop or Volumes 1, 2, and 3 to get signed. Got all three signed by both Ryan and White Paul, or no, it was Asian Paul that helped me on this one. Since yeah, I Anyways. signed this one. Or no, this is my. I got this one signed. Everyone on cover. Oh yeah, I signed this one. I signed um, this one because this yeah, was the, yeah, they had this the one's on the back. Author and two singers for the opening and ending, or opening OST and ending. Um, Carlos really should have met one of them and um, given them something else, like from Mahime, but um. He did not, and I did not figure this out until later. I also met some other pretty cool I was at the concert. Also, Sword Art Online will be the next project for, for Lisa, who I asked to sign for this. She will be doing the opening for Sword Art Online when it becomes an anime. Um, likewise, I bought Teardrops. I highly regret that I could not get my Lil Buster's EX visual fan book signed by the voice actor as she did both, er, three, three characters. Na Naoi Riki, the main character, Rin, and her rival, the cat girl thing thingamajig. Didn't bother to remember her name for now. Um, manga game can't show games, that. Um, uh, try and, um, can't show that one. <laughs> can't okay, we showed the cover of this, but, um, we can, yeah, yeah, that's fine. yeah, that's fine. Um, Aya Yoshi, uh, free Ayoye game from- Ayoye Yeah, Ayoye Ayoshi. I never right. re really got into this, um, even though I did read it once. Uh, I have all the manga for it. It's not, it's I didn't really like it because for the this little story behind this, Hirameki took out all the H scenes. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, sex, Edouis, makes, though, sex makes go, the That's world go around. Manga. Yes. The anime doesn't. Edouis, um Deluxe Set has both Edouis and Edouis Eden Fantasia. Um, hilarious story. If you ever get the chance to read it, please support Manga Gamer. Hard copies are awesome. Um, Coin and Whistle. One of my favorite games that came out about last year. I actually have the software downloaded as well, but I need to update the voices for that. And you just happen to be conveniently wearing the shirt, aren't you? Oh yes, I am conveniently wearing the sequel shirt, Shin Coin and Whistle, which I bought two years ago. And my badge is covering it, but still, Shin Coin and Whistle. Coin and Whistle. I hope that they do the sequel, but they're doing the uh, they're doing a different thing with um, one of the characters ca or several of the characters cameo. Um, I bought another autograph from the uh, Total Lips Illustrator. Um, he also was kind enough to sign multiple other things because I said I wanted one of everything. JCT Memorial Collection, five five games plus one other. Um, the only thing this was worth for was really just getting all the DOS games I'm I don't have in my collection and will probably never find as a DOS format again. Um, I got three of these. I uh, probably should have switched one out for Deer Gods, but still. Um, anyways, out of the four times I drew, most likely you were supposed to get the Manga Gamer thing that Carlos got. I ended up getting three of these. I still didn't get the thing I wanted, but still. Really weird. Anyways, of course, I have a great appreciation of visual novels, so Magic Boy S, even though it hasn't been translated at all, anyway. Um, limited edition, got the pre order. Material along with it, soundtrack, and that made it worth the inflation, I suppose, that they put on it. Um, school, of course, because this was the year that JCT released School Days after like four years of waiting. I only need to get one, but he got three. I got two at Expo, one shipped to me. And so he has three copies. If I stayed at the Falcon panel, I could have won another one. How did they dispose of that one? I don't know. No, we didn't. Anyways, no, we didn't. Uh, it was trivia. If it was trivia, I would have gotten it. Goddamn. And we I don't forget this. about this. Um, yeah. Moolah, postcards. Some of them are really etchy, so we can't go into them. Yeah. And the um, school days tumbler, tumbler that came. This is the cross days tumbler. Yeah, the tumbler cross days, whatever. Before I go on. There is his opened one over um, there. Um, yeah. Protagonist uh, rule about the school days, days is. T shirts. I really got. One to sell, them. one to buy, one to play. It's a lucky star motto. One to. Okay. One to play, one to keep, one to sell. Of course, um, for some reason, my powers of persuasion convinced Manga Gamer to give me five mouse pads as I bought one game. Or each game, about five of them at once, happened in the first day. Um, so in short, I got five mouse pads, one per game, unlike Carlos, who has paid 40 bucks for one. I only wanted one. I already have three from before. Very good. If anyone wants to buy some. Okay, I'm now for the grand stuff. finale, because that seems like that's all your shit. Uh, uh, there's, don't forget. Yes, I know. I said for the more. time for the grand finale. Of course, School Days H HD. Funny story. Actually, no. First person to get by it bought two copies. We'll save that for and later. If you, I opened it because I'm gonna play one. Screw y'all. Yes. School Days comes with a mouse pad in the back and Mapatos decapitated head that looks like a Toho face. Yes. Whatever you said. Help me out with this. And All right, now for the grand finale. This is this protagonist. Is the... This is protagonist. True, true, prime and uh, prime and glory here. This is his best deal to date. You will see Boy. why. Cause the video camera probably isn't even able to fit it all. This is it. So the manga is, gamers tapestry. For anyone that's been to OtakuCon or Anime Expo anytime before. You guys probably seen a tapestry or manga gamer having many tapestries. I unfortunately I wasn't a big fan of Suka in the first place. I actually have to go finish it sometime. Uh, however, it was the only one they were offering to sell this year, and because I want to get one before I go to college and use that room divider or something, decided to get it. It's uh, pretty damn big. Pretty awesome. This is probably taller than any of us here. It is taller than. It is. Here. They to also told me that um, if anyone, or I asked them about this because they did this a couple years ago, if Circus comes back, I, they told me that I could just bring it in and get it signed by them. Also, we don't know if Circus is going to come back, but they, we yes. hope that they will. And the price dropped for me from 250 this year to 200 
Yeah. Usually, tab the tapestries like this, like you can get like tapestries like a third the size of this, and they could go up to like four hundred easy. Seriously. Uh, only for like twelve hole thing picks. Well, those are different, but yeah. This one, this one is a is a damn good haul. Yes. No one can deny cool. that. Two hundred four tapestry this size. Yes, well, he will be using it. It used to be one fifty last year, but I ran the money by then, so. This year I'm kind of paying the price by faith more than the computers. <laughs> for what it's it is, you're not, you don't really mind. Anyways, that should be it. Yes, in terms of material. Yeah. So, shall we start with the day zero funny stories? Um, sure, yes, but I need to charge this battery first. Let's start. So just speak loudly, just in case they can. Yeah. Of course. Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Agent Psycho. And so next to me, we have my friend protagonist here who has accompanied me to an anime expo. Well, I, I accompanied him. But uh, we wanted to have Carlos, uh, Ryan, and White Paul, the other guys, come in here with us for this kind of talk. But um, they weren't able to make it. Or Carlos is on his way. Don't know about Ryan. Um, but And White Paul couldn't make it. But right now, we're just going to do this just because I did my head. It's, most convenient for us right now, so there we go. This video is just going to be us talking about random crap, funny stories mainly, uh, what happened at Anime Expo this year, so. Well, yeah. why don't we start with Day Zero, then? Yeah. Um, day Zero is basically a day where we just line up for our tickets. Um, we ditched White Paul, so the premier fans, which was me, yeah. Paul, and <laughs> Carlos, could just <laughs> give our tickets without having to wait. As you guys probably saw from the uh, the a Anime Expo, the Day Zero footage, because I pretty much uploaded all the Day Zero footage already by now. Um, what had happened was, it, it, you guys probably saw the super huge line on Day Zero, and um, we when we went to the uh, when we went to the Prestige fan or the uh, the Premier fan line, not the Prestige, what's the one time, but the uh, the Premier fan line. Um, as the people were walking along, the, the, the Anime Expo volunteers and the workers and crap, um, when they were walking along, asking us, oh, everyone Premier fan? Everyone Premier fan? Every, every time they walked back, I'd nudge White Paul over saying, hey, Premier fan? Premier fan? And be like, <laughs> So that was pretty funny. Yes. And when we actually went in, we were, uh, yeah, he, was, he said, oh, I'll just wait on the side here. And then uh, we we're like, okay, see ya. And we're like, hot sucker! You're walking! So yeah, got our tickets there. And yeah, early tickets, um, skipping all the lines. Those of you that were in the AX 2012 line, we know you're paid from last year, but this year we got to skip all of it. So, that's the same day. <laughs> Anyways. No, actually, when we came back, or when we were exiting the, the, when we were exiting the exhibition center, when we saw White Paul, um, we were like, hey, White Paul, come on, we gotta go. And uh, he was like, oh, okay. And when we went back, when yes. we went back to Carlos's car, because before, before we, we, we head back, all that time, White Paul was like, where's my wallet? Like, he couldn't find his wallet. Yes, and he dropped his wallet, apparently, in front of Carlos's car. And we were like, wow! Because we got like, to the car. This is, like, like, this is like, this is Los Angeles, where you can, when you drop something, you don't look at it for five minutes. It's gone. It's supposedly gone. But when we get back to the car, White Paul's like, oh my god! And we're like, what? what what's going on? And we, we, he's like, my wallet! And we look at it. His wallet was dropped right in front of Carlos's uh, car, right where White Paul was sitting, and we were like, "Wow, wow, you lucky mother ever!" We were like, Phew. and Carlos, Carlos was like, Carlos was most delusional because he had apparently lost the camera pretty much across the street, and apparently he had said that, "Oh, he was, he left it there for 20 minutes. Oh, no one's gonna look over there. It was gone." And he left it there for nearly an hour and a half, maybe, I want to say maybe two hours, and it was still there. Was Nothing was nothing. touched, apparently. Nothing. And we were like, wow, really? Yeah. So. Well, that's his wallet. It's yeah. only like 200 bucks, though, so. Yeah. No real money in there. I mean, if we lost our wads, that would have been. I that would be raging. Yes. Uh, quite hard. <laughs> Anyways, that's day zero day. Day zero night, we actually yeah. have a funny story about the night one day. So when we went to Carlos's house, um, we just set up as usual. I set up my laptop just because um, what at the inter the internet there is actually we uh, Carlos's um, cell smartphone. phone. Yeah, the cell phone Galaxy S two can turn into a mobile hotspot. Yeah. So he set up his own uh, wireless tether, so I connect to it. And incidentally enough, his tether is about fifteen times better than my own home internet, which is kind of sad because. Uh, and a uh, smartphone is more, that means that a smartphone is more powerful than my internet modem, which I'm like, yeah, really, that's not the really story. Verizon, <laughs> really Verizon, you fail. Anyways, um, Anywho, that's yeah. not the funny story. 
The funny story has to do with what we were supposed to bring for day zero, or actually for our stay. I was in charge of bringing chips. Paul here was in charge of bringing all these five-hour energy drinks. Those those helped. Those helped. It actually did help. And Carlos decides. Well, Carlos was supposed to get drinks, but then he decides to get the super El Cheapo coming. Yeah. Like, like, so here's how our, here's how our graduation, or, or like our rankings of soda goes. We've got the top high quality ones, which are a little bit more expensive, you know, like one ninety nine for like a two liter Coke. Then we've got this, uh, then we've got the El Cheapo ones. The El Cheapo ones being like the Refresh brand, that you can find at pavilions and stuff. That was our four ninety nine for two, uh, two liters. Now, the, now what Carlos did was he went out and bought the super El Cheapo kind. Now that, you can get 99 cents for three, three liters. liters. Three. And when he got that, we were, it, cause, cause before, before we would see, like, we was like, oh, we, we get that super L, we get the L cheaper kind. And whenever Carlos, whenever Carlos heard us say that, he's like, oh, you haven't seen super L cheapo. Let me show you what super L cheapo is. So when we go there, he says, yep, this. there's super L cheapo is in the in the fridge right now. You can go check it out. So we go check it out. And there it is, Super El Chico. It's, it doesn't even have a brand name. It's yes. just cola. Speed is like cola, lemon lime, so lime, something like that. And it's Boy. hilarious. Three liters for ninety nine cents. I have never seen anyone screw up soda that bad. Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, I was I was the one that tried it. Yeah, I didn't try it, and oh I'm the lucky God. one. Everyone else, so everyone else drink. tried it. Me, White Paul, and Carlos. Um, me and White Paul could not sleep until about 2, 3 a.m. because of this. Um, Carlos, well, and we had bad dreams on top of this. Not to mention White Paul tossed and turned around so much that he ended up ramming his foot into Paul's face. Yes, that, that didn't happen. I woke up with something in my face. I was like, what is this? And I opened my eyes. And it's and it's something shaped like a foot, and I'm like, oh, is this what I think it is? And then I turn on my, I, 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 I back up so that my eyes can get used to the night vision, and, and sure enough, it's White Paul's foot, nearly this close to my, like it was, it was like literally rammed up in my face. It was, it was brutal. How close, how how much it was up my, up in my face, and I was like, White Paul, you asshole. What did you do? And he uh, and he was like, "Oh, it must have been a super El Cheapo soda." I was like, "Oh, yes. that figures." Everyone that figures. just blame every, every single problem on D Zero on Super El Cheapo soda. I was the lucky one because usually I didn't I didn't drink any of that. Um, I mostly drink like the vitamin water that Carlos had stashed away in his yeah. fridge, and I I got off lucky. I didn't have any problems sleeping. I slept pretty fast. I fell asleep pretty fast. I woke up pretty normally. Uh, but these guys, the rest of them, man. The yeah, rest I mean, of them. It tasted horrible, too. I don't even know why we kept drinking it. <laughs> anyway. Super El Chipo Stutter. Moral of the story. Don't buy it unless you want to have weird dreams or you're just Super El Chipo yourself. Yes, um, yeah. It, it, the cola tastes like root beer. No, not, not even root beer. It had this root beerish aftertaste with a lot of metal in it, so nobody knows. Anywho, let's go on to day one. So, day one, the most memorable part is, um, actually, let me just talk a bit about day zero. Uh, our last member of our cast, Ryan, he actually, um, calls me on day zero night, day, day one morning, like, 12 o'clock, and he's like, oh, I don't have a ride, um, like, what do you think I can do? It's like, okay, like, I can come in, like, he said he'll come in on Saturday. I'm like, okay, um... Why don't you just wake up, drive over here, and then we'll just take you there from this point on. It's like, oh, I'm too lazy. Comes up halfway in the middle of the day and says, Hey, um, I actually got a ride here. I'm like, crap, I'm at this uber awesome panel, <laughs> and I can't leave. If I left, it'd be like, I'm leaving front row seats, right behind the press, and of course I can't take pictures or anything, so I can't really t take out my phone once I can release the pictures. Anywho. Big zero panel, finale, Q and A, but that's a bit later in the story. So let's start off with the beginning of day one. Beginning of day one, we began with um, lining up for the what was it? The exhibition hall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exhibition hall. Now the the line for the exhibition hall. Um, first of all, it started off by me, uh, by us, or me, Carlos. And, and protagonist here, and a little bit later, White Paul. But then again, White, uh, when we moved a little bit later, White Paul went to a, went to the uh, the normal fan no, line no, for no. for the exhibition hall. But 
The funny thing, you guys have probably seen me, uh, the one segment of, one of the segments in my X footage, day one footage, of me playing Super Meat Boy and raging at the computer and having someone else come over to tell me, sir, you can't swear and uh, swear here, so I was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't want to know what, like, 13-year-olds are doing here, but that's okay, that's their pro that's their problem, and bad parenting yeah, on their part, I guess, but... Anywho, this guy was <laughs> swearing like crazy while You should have seen me before. Before, oh my God. before you should have seen me, and Carlos was laughing his ass off. It was I mean, hilarious. I enjoyed it, but like, it was... If there were any kids around, this guy would not be a good... Not a good role model. Oh, nope, no. I was never a good role model. Nope. Yeah, he wasn't one to begin with, but who cares? Yeah, okay. Anywho, incidentally, that's also when I met Professor H. Yes, <laughs> Professor Hentai. He likes to call him Professor H. I like to call him Professor Hentai because his name is just badass like that. Professor Hentai. Yeah. But anyway, so when we got to the uh, actually before we even got to move move the other one, um, the first e e exhibition hall line uh, premier fan line uh, line that we uh, ended up in was pretty much right outside the exhibition hall on the right side when you go up the stairs to the exhibition yeah. hall. Yeah. And. Um, we oh, sat there. We sat down there with uh, with the guy who turned out to be Professor H, and another guy who apparently drank eleven monsters in a day, and now he's kind of wacko. But no, he had brain cancer or something. Yeah, but something, anyways. Like <laughs> something like that. But anyways, yeah, anyway. we're trying to just finish the story of uh, Professor H. Yeah. So we met Professor H, and of course we had a high, highly um, well, high geek level. <laughs> <laughs> deep conf deep conversation about anime and hentai. <laughs> Um, I did know a lot of titles he mentioned, um, but Don't ask him how yes. he knows. Don't ask him. Um, it was a very unique experience, and I'd say, um, probably I'd like to meet this guy more in the future. Mm. Uh, he's been to every single con for like the last 18 years, so definitely want to see him more. Mm -hmm. also, he might have a panel yeah. lecture, so if he does, definitely going. Like, he would... He was raging about all these different hentais. Yeah. It was amazing. <laughs> just had he to should. He should have his own hentai about oh, just just the sheer amount of hentai he knows. He should have his own seventeen hentai. terabytes. Um, yeah. He That's says big. he has more hentai than he can actually show in his in his house. He does. <laughs> seventeen <laughs> hentai is actually quite a lot. Well, then again, he has like two copies of everything: yeah. high quality, low quality, yeah. first PSP. Anywho, that doesn't matter. Funny also, stories. <laughs> also. He uh, he was gracious enough to give protagonist, and I think did he give Carlos the uh, yes, yes we he have gave, his yeah email. he gave he, he gave protagonist and Carlos upon request a bag of of like uh, this, uh, that this, was just um yeah. like we were talking about like how we're gonna get so tired later on yeah. and then um I was like oh like the only thing we have to rely on is these five hundred energy mm -hmm. and it's like oh do you want to try this this like gamer gamer grub yeah. it was called gamer grub and the thing was it lasted me the whole day without Those, being tired apparently I didn't it taste anything very well it, it apparently according to Carlos and Perdanas they helped a lot it, is, it wasn't like pure sugar or something it yeah. had like so much sugar in that it had quite a bit of sugar in it but considering it like we didn't have any crash or like any True. tiredness. Tastes a lot better than our fire energy drinks. Well, there's, here's another thing Build about the fire stars. energy. Here's another thing about fire energy before we get anywhere. For some reason, for some reason, it seems I'm the odd one of the bunch because when I because I bought I was the one who bought five hour energy for everyone, everyone. And the days uh, leading up to day zero of Anime Expo, I tried a little bit of five hour energy. I thought it was really really sour but really sweet at the same time. Apparently, these guys think that it's really really bitter. I don't know about you guys. Maybe I am indeed the odd one of the bunch, but I just find it to be extremely sour. But that's it. I really like the taste of uh, fire.